now discuss the third model from ratio in proportions. The question here is, a sum of money is divided among A, B, C and D in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 8 is to 9 respectively. If the share of D is rupees 1872 more than the share of A, then what is the total amount of money of B and C? So here, from the given data, we are supposed to find out the total amount with B and C together. Now, as given in the question, we know that the ratio of A is to B is to C is to D is equal to 3 is to 5 is to 8 is to 9. That means the total when divided into equal number of parts, A gets 3 parts, B gets 5 parts, C gets 8 parts and D gets 9 parts. The next statement here is the share of D is 1872 more than the share of A. That means D has got rupees 1872 more than A. So we can say D minus A is equal to 1872. Now if you look at the ratio here, we know that D has got 9 parts, whereas A has got only 3 parts. So the difference of D and A can be taken as 9 parts minus 3 parts, which is equal to 6 parts. So we can say that the difference of D and A, that is 9 parts, let us take it as 9x minus 3 parts, 3x should be equal to 6x, 6x, which is given as 1872. And we are supposed to find out the total amount of B and C. Again from the ratio, we know that the total of B and C will be 5 parts plus 8 parts, that is equal to 13 parts. So we can say that B plus C together have 5 parts, 5x plus 8 parts, 8x, which is equal to 13x. And this has to be calculated. So simply by cross multiplying this part, we can get the answer. So we can say that the total amount with B and C should be equal to 13 into 1872 divided by 6 as x and x anyway gets cancelled. Now by simplifying this, we can get the answer as 312 into 13, which comes out to be 4056. So the total amount with B and C is rupees 4056. So friends, as you have seen in this example, we need not do lengthy calculations for these type of questions. Simply, we can consider the given ratio as number of parts between the persons and then work accordingly from the given information.